Welcome to Your Anime Senpais. I'm Richard, and today I'm going to be watching and reacting to Fake Man Order, Babylonia, Episode 15. So, let's refresh ourselves on last episode. Uh, we had the Demonic Beasts. They began their invasion of Uruk. In the meantime, Ritsuka and company have infiltrated Gorgon's Temple. And then when negotiations have uh, broken down, Anna has uh, decided to go all out against Gorgon. She is going to use her mystic eyes to counter Gorgon's mystic eyes. So, the battle is about ready to get started, so let's see what happens. Oh, is this when she first showed up? Oh, oh no, this is not. Oh no, this is definitely not. Those are her uh, sisters. And laser beam spam. Yikes. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, you might want to like take care of those. <laughs> hey, good job, Merlin. You know, it's finally nice to see Anna actually, you know, being awesome. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice. Oh, ow. That felt really quick, though, to be honest with you. No, sorry. Yeah, they, they both got to go. Yeah. Wait, you were carrying I thought that you were carrying that with you the whole time? Okay. 
I mean, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to break the, the moment, but. Hello. Yeah, why did you leave? Just, just leave. Just go. Nah. Uh. Freaking Lamu or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's... Did he just... I do like the animation for him, as disgusting as they are. When did he do, when was he able to do that? When were we able to do that? Oh hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't doubt it. <laughs> hey, finally blew one of them apart. Oh wait. Uh Mm. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. What? 
What? Oh. <laughs> nope. Okay, so that's it for episode 15. Uh, man, if, <laughs> if you have not played the FGO storyline... Um, and if you thought that this was going to be just a happy-go-lucky singularity, nope. <laughs> no, things uh, things are going to go south from here on from here on out. So, spoiler alert. But uh, yeah, things are going to be kind of bad. So, as we've seen. But before we get to, to all that, um, overall, I I enjoyed the episode. Uh, felt kind of rushed though. Um, Gorion versus Anna. Uh, I feel like we could have spent at least an episode on that, just having them fight and, you know, get some more, like, emotional drama out of it. Um, I don't know. It just, it just kind of felt like it was done in five minutes, and that's it. So, but, uh, I mean, I guess it is what it is. I know they've only got 21 episodes, but really they could have pushed it to 24 and... and Tell, told a better story I feel like but whatever um, I also didn't expect to see the Lamu invasion this episode uh, I mean it just kind of transitioned really quickly in my opinion uh, but that being said the Lamu are way more terrifying in the anime than they are in the game for sure um, I actually didn't even mind the CGI for the Lamu they I guess it just really kind of just matches matches what they are. I mean, they're very just inhuman, even though they're called second humans. They're very inhuman things, and they just are creepy. <laughs> but um, at the very least, they were there. They were better looking than Gorgon because Gorgon just looks just too out of place, in my opinion. But whatever. Um, and of course, speaking of Lamus. Um, there was a moment with, with Siduri. Uh, and of course, I wasn't expecting it this episode. I was expecting maybe at least another episode or two before that happened. But, you know, here we are. Um, so I remember when the, that happened in the game. Um, I remember there was, like, a few people who just didn't make that connection. Um, of course, in the game, you didn't have the flashback, per se. But... Uh, yeah, like I did what they did with the anime, but um, I did feel like the game did it a little bit better in the sense that uh, I think I talked about this a few episodes ago uh, when the moment happened where Ishtar like kind of waves her hand, some, talking about like a white flag or whatever, then flies away. Siduri's kind of confused about that. Uh, the game, uh, we the main character, um, explained to her like what that means, you know, like surrender. Um, whereas in here, it just kind of showed like a flashback. She's just kind of imitating Ishtar, and then, you know, that's it. So, I mean, both both ways were good, but I, I think I prefer the game in that sense just because, you know, it makes more sense, I guess, uh, that she would know that. 
Um, I was also kind of expecting when Fujimaru realized, you know, who that Lamu was. Like, I, I was, I mean, he looked shocked, but uh, I remember when I re made the realization, I was just like, I was so mad. I was just like, ah, oh, no, you know, because, you know, Saduri was just a great character, and it just to see her go like that, it's like, ah, oh, no, not Saduri. Uh, and because she, she was also really close to Gilgamesh too, I guess maybe not as close as like Inkadu, but she, you know, she, she and Gilgamesh. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain. It. I mean, they're. I don't know if they were like lovers or anything like that, but they, you know, it seemed like they um, were really good friends at the very least. Even though he may have not consider her a friend, just a subject, but I just really like their dynamic. And uh, to see her go like that it was just like. Mm. So, uh, again, he did look shocked, but, you know, I was expecting more like, you know, more creases in the eyes, maybe some tears or something. You know, like just a horrified look like, oh, no, I'm too late. So, um, but still, it was a good moment. It was a heartbreaking moment, really. But um, I'm glad that made it to the anime. <laughs> Am I glad that I made it to the anime? Uh, made it to that point in the anime? I don't know. But... Uh, it is really an emotional moment, and uh, now the anime viewers get to see it. <laughs> so, uh, again, though, uh, overall, good episode. Just really felt kind of rushed. Um, but, uh, I don't know, I felt like this could be... Add, they could add, like, a couple more episodes, and we, we would be good. But, whatever, I'm not in charge, so... Uh, with that being said, guys, what did you think of this episode? And uh, were, you, were your hearts also broken in that moment with Sidiri? Let us know down in the comments below. And, of course, if you like this episode and like our channel, please consider hitting like and subscribing. And uh, if you look down in the comments below, we have uh, links to our Patreon where we have full episodes for our reactions. Uh, just $1 a month. So with that being said, we'll see you all next week.